So let's take a look you see around. We're at 81 at the airport in Burlington, 79 degrees Plattsburgh, 75 right now, Saranac Lake, 81 degrees in Lebanon. Widen out a little bit, let you know what's going on around the Northeast and back into at least parts of the Midwest, like Ann Arbor at 82, Columbus right now, 83 degrees, New York City is at 78 degrees. Talk about the temperature trend here. Tomorrow is going to be another pretty warm day with temperatures getting into the 80s, although I think it's going to be a more active day. Some showers and yes, yeah, some thunderstorms expected by the afternoon. And then temperatures dip a little bit with the passing of a cold front. So we go back into the mid 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday. Then temperatures kind of bobbing up and down at least a little bit. First alert storm tracker, not too much to show you right now. We're not finding all that much going on, but back to the west, kind of a different story. We've got this upper level low pressure system. Eventually a cold front is going to go through. You can see all the action to our north and west and to our west in the Great Lakes. This is some of the stuff that is going to be coming our way and we think the atmosphere is going to be pretty juiced up by the afternoon. That's why I think we are going to find some thunderstorms around here. Some of these thunderstorms could be on the strong side too. Hey, have you heard about tropical storm Gert? That's what this is right here. It's looking a little threatening to parts of the United States, at least on the weather map. But hang on a second. It's not going to be a bother because if you take a look, sustained winds at 70, the movement is now north at about seven miles an hour. This thing is already making the turn and it's going to go out to see it. So it's not going to be much of a bother, although rip currents, certainly a potential hazard uh, right along the coastline of the East Coast. And that's going to be about it. All right, for tomorrow, here's the situation for us. We're looking at the chance for rain showers first thing in the morning at lunchtime as well, and then scattered showers and thunderstorms as we do get you into the afternoon. You're going to see that with Futurecast here. We're looking ahead at 830 tonight. Not much going on, but late tonight, here come some rain showers. There are your chances first thing tomorrow morning. Lunchtime, there are some chances for rain showers as well. And then I think things are going to ramp up at least some during the afternoon with some scattered thunderstorms around. Some of these thunderstorms could be on the strong side in the evening time as well. But a cold front is going to go through later tomorrow night, the beginning of Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Some of us looking at a few clouds, clouds giving way to increasing sunshine. And by then, well, we're going to find the temperatures cooler. We're going to find the humidity levels are going to be down as well. Hey, tonight, partly cloudy and then some rain showers overnight toward dawn tomorrow morning. 62, that's it for your low temperature tonight. And here comes your tomorrow. Similar temperatures to today. Showers and thunderstorms. Remember, the chance for showers in the morning, better chance for showers and thunderstorms by afternoon. So 81 Burlington, 80 degrees Plattsburgh, 82 in Lebanon, if not in the 80s, if you take a look here, well into the 70s. Five-day forecast, plus two coming up. 81 tomorrow with the showers and thunderstorms. We clear Wednesday, 76 degrees. Thursday looks terrific at 75 degrees. Friday looks wet. I think we'll find rain showers around here. Get set for that. Saturday, Sunday, we're looking at the chance for showers. I think a little better chance on Saturday, 80 degrees. Sunday, still that chance, but some sun both these days, 77. And Monday, oh, my fingers are crossed. Mix of sun and clouds. That's the big North American eclipse coming up, and we will continue to watch that weather for you. Thank <laughs> you.